my world. We've been playing in a sewing world all day today. You guys want to see some different worlds? I can take you to some different worlds. <laughs> um, let's do that. If you're okay with that, okay? Watch this. Here's a little seamstress thing, okay? Watch this. We're going to go switch corp. Boom. Let's go to a tree service. They actually, they sell trees and like cutting things down and doing different little uh, items. So let's actually say, hey, why don't you show me really quick what you have for your services. Boom. I've got aeration and, and cropping and redirectional cutting and all this kind of stuff. Like they're selling services. Let's switch to somebody else just for fun. Amber's Bookstores, what do they do? Oh, you know what? I bet you they have this book called White Fang. Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, White Fang, great book. And they're selling this and they're trying to do different things, okay? Each one is a different world as far as like what it does, what it does. Let's go like this. Switch Corp. Why don't we go to Aspen Air? This is an airport, okay? Click it. Boom, mm, okay? Why don't we go like this? Stop number 17. Let's go to a big ticket item just for fun. See what it is. Okay, this looks like a hanger. They're actually doing hangers and different pieces of the puzzle. Okay, way bigger pieces, totally different world, different feel, different look. But they're basically world building. They're kind of going into different pieces of the puzzle. Let's click on here. Like literally, what do you want to do? Oh, let's go to a, a liquor store just for a second. Okay, boom. Let's go see what they have under Coors or something. Like say that you were actually trying to look at some of the stuff. Item. I'm gonna, just for fun, uh, let's go, boom, they got this and 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 this, like, basically, what is your world, what is, what's kind of going on, let's switch corpse again, boom, fireworks, uh, energy drinks, you know, etc, etc, hazmat, they have just more services and stuff like that, heating and air conditioning, like, these are just play sites, these are just totally play sites, but, um, you can get into whatever. Pro bowling. Let's actually go see what they have under their gloves. 33 records. Looks like about 22 bucks a piece, 37 bucks a piece. Cool, let's add these to the cart. Da, da, da. Like you're, you're playing in totally different levels and, and layers and what's going on. We were in the seamstress, electronics, transportation. Let's go check out the Porsches, okay? You like Porsches? Just for fun, I'm going to go here to uh, stock units and inventory, and I'm just going to go get a bunch of them. What do we got? Okay, Audi, a Bentley. Let's go check out this guy right here. Okay, totally different world compared to a bowling glove or something, okay? You jump in here and you're like, wow, that's a nice car. You know, like, totally depends on what your entity is as far as, like, what is it that you want. Say you wanted to actually go here and you... You didn't even know. Um, these are just play sites. I could actually take you into live ones. That like. Avalis, we sell services, okay? We sell tons of services. We have things documented to the T. When we are scanning stuff and putting it on expense receipts, you should see how we document it. Every single thing is documented to the T, okay? We have reoccurring invoices. We do this and this and this, okay? We have other people. Where we started was a car dealership. Thousands and thousands and thousands of stock units, okay? Trucks, SUVs, vehicles, vans. I can even take you in there. Matter of fact, we're going to go on a tour, okay? Just for fun. I'm going to hit log out. Instead of being an analyst demo, we're going to go see some live data, okay? Okay. Here's where we started at, just for kicks and giggles. Let's go to Morningstar Automotive. This was kind of the parent company, okay? Simple look and feel. And it's tied to me, me and my wife, where we used to live in Salida, Colorado. Okay, like way back, that's forever ago. What was the date on that? I can't even remember what the sold date. 03. Okay, so like that was our first part that we were actually doing. So um, this company has tons and tons of information. Watch this. Say we just pop into the expense receipt homepage. 
right here for this particular company. Okay, they're on 24,000 expense receipts that they've added in here. Look at this documentation. David has done an excellent job. Just for fun, I'm going to pop into this particular one right here for $46. Okay, if I click on it, boom, $46. Looks like it was, I'd have to kind of read this a little close, but this is his documentation for this particular thing. Click on the edit line items, dodge repairs, he tied it to the correct bucket, he paid on a debit card, and look, he actually needed to be reimbursed on this particular one. So we still owe him. It's in a different bucket. It's in the reimbursement bucket, okay? This is live data. This is how people really, really use the system. Um, crazy things. Watch this. We're going to switch corps to one. This, this one here is called uh, Sueño del Mar, okay? So this one right here was actually in Belize. It's not even in, on American soil. Okay, this was foreign. And these guys actually wanted to track all of their different construction projects. So they were using Atlas. Um, what happened was, is right about 2008, there was a major downturn in the economy. And this was a multi-million dollar project, probably about $11 million. And uh, they ended up going belly up. And so the bank technically owns this. But uh, so they stopped paying the service because the bank was like, no, no, we're going to do it this way. But they were running this whole thing just because of economics as far as what happened. But I want to show you what they did for it. Super, super cool. Let's actually see what they have here as far as their sub-inventory type. Let's look at landscape. Go get it. Okay, and here's a lighting path. We can actually jump in there. They actually were building these little lighting paths, and they were tracking construction projects. Watch this. Let's switch modes on the stock unit, okay? Look at all these different little internal invoices that they invoiced to this particular $16,000 that they actually spent on part of this lighting path. You want to see it even deeper? Cool. Here we go. Here's $16,000 in detail. What they did. And we're going to randomly just pop into one. Okay. What's right here? Rebar, river sand, quarry sand. They have a bunch of different things that they were allocating to this particular piece of the project, okay? Tons and tons of information. You want to actually see this physical invoice? Click on it. Right here. Boom, boom, boom. Here's what it was. It was all done with an internal payment because they were just kind of like uh, just tracking this and then eventually kind of creating the item. On stock unit 22, watch this. If I click on more options and I hit history, let's see when Byron actually edited into this. 5-1 of 08, okay? They were this is Byron. He didn't even speak English, and he put in tons of stuff. Like These guys were nuts as far as they were doing stuff. Like, say, for instance, you want to see some of their items. Uh, let's go. Uh, we'll just go grab them all. Okay. 4,000 items that he had. They had different supplies and uh, different time that they were building out, mason time and construction time and all internally to these little projects, collecting all this data, and then they were basically serving it off to other places to, to get it. There are so many different little things. I don't think that this company would have a problem at all if I show you. This is a small little kitchen needs store, okay? Um, this is called the Mixing Bowl. It's a small little one in Salida, Colorado, okay? Um, the reason I have access to these is basically I have helped them with tech support, and they have given me permission. I do not have access to all the corporations in Atlas at all. Okay? You have to physically create that bridge. Okay? I just want to show you what's going on in here. This is cups and plates and bowls and fun stuff. And say you wanted to actually see what they have under mugs. and You click in here, boom, 548 different kinds of mugs. Got one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. You know, whatever you need. To, oh, somehow I have negative five mugs. Like basically I would have to come in here and say, what's going on here? When did this happen? Okay, it looks to me like they originally didn't get any in. Like, they started it way back in 2010 with a zero quantity, and then they only pulled in one, and then they sold a bunch because they never actually updated that quantity. That's, it tells me the story right there, okay? Um, just for kicks and giggles, like, this is live and actual data. Um, if I go home right here, and I click on here, and I say, you know what? I actually need to see some information. Let's go to My Favorites. And I'm going to just, just for fun, um, let's just show you some general invoices that are happening, okay? 9-26-13, boom, 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 boom. These are invoices that they did today. Oh, looks like they had to return something. You know, 
whatever was going on. This is a bunch of invoices that are all from today's date. Okay? If I click on this one right here on this history, 408 is currently 423. Like they're using the system and they're doing all kinds of different things. I'm not going to violate anybody's, like I don't think I violated anything right there just showing you that they're using it. And so basically that was kind of my goal was just to have, when we talk world building and different things like that, we virtually have to play at these different levels and what's going on and what's happening and um, tons and tons and tons of different stuff. Okay, like literally it, it, there, there's tons of stuff. So uh, say for instance, this is another fun one that, that has a totally different look and feel. What if we go into a school play site? Okay, you haven't seen this interface before. This is a teacher, student relationship with custom buttons that have been kind of overlaid and then wired up. Okay. Yesterday I was in here and I demoed a bulk adding flex grid piece. Okay. So if I click on my data points for yesterday, I can probably see four or five that I added in bulk. Okay. See all these ones that five-year-old, five-year-old, English, 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 ask for help, ask for help. I added all of those in bulk. Okay. Watch this. If I click home, here's how I did it. I have a custom little button. It goes to a custom little page that pulls just my students. Okay. Pretend that I'm a student and these are my teachers. Sorry, I'm the teacher and these are my students, okay? Basically what I can do, boom, let's say that I, I just did a group story. Everybody was in except for Melissa was gone today, okay? I just click that. I've got all of that. I can come down here. They are all in my five-year-old class. We were doing English and we were doing some story, let's call it uh, literature, okay? Boom, add my core data, okay? Here's all of my different little pieces that I can do for these things, okay? So uh, they actually were, uh, let's pretend, I, I, I don't know, you know like what they really were doing. I'm just faking it right here. Okay, illustrations and stories. Say this, is, this was my data point. You could literally start saying, oh, Mike was emerging and Mandy was beginning, beginning. Wendy was also beginning. You know, like kind of coming down. So these are all different little pieces that I'm taking a core data point on. Beginning, oh, Barney, Barney, he was good, okay? Um, he actually knew what was going to happen. Okay, and then some of these ones, that was kind of just a, an emerging one, and this one was the master of the class. Like, she read the story, or he or whatever. So once again, this is just fake data, but basically when I click on this, click. So basically it says, hey, great job, I just added 10 data points. What I technically did right here, if I click on my data points for today, I just added a bunch of data, which are technically to individual people. If I click on um, Ellie's right here, and I come down to her stuff, here's all of her data points that are technically in a flex grid, but I just added those in bulk according to world building and what needs to happen, okay? Say I'm this particular person and the same one today, Ellie, say she tripped. I go right here, student log, boom, and I just, uh, let's call this in person. I saw Ellie push Johnny, okay, whatever you wanted to do, okay, and I talked to him. Just for a log mill, bam, click it. Okay, so technically I just added that into Ellie's record. Right here back from my home page, if I wanted to see what were the log notes that I did today, I just click on this today. Boom, there's the, my one that I did for Ellie. Like, what this is, is it's basically this little custom interface has basically said, you know what, I'm going to take Atlas and I'm going to skin it to a new level. And we're going to be able to let you play like this and this and this. What's going on? Oh man, what calendar events do I have this month? You click on it. Okay, doesn't look like anything. Oh, you know what? I needed to add something for tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Okay, oh, looks like I'm only out until 3 o'clock. No problem. I know how to fix that. Let's go right here. Create a new element of time. Boom. And this is just a quick little, uh, I'm just going to plug it into the default template. Quick note. And this needs to be for 5 o'clock today. Boom. Good to go. I'll leave the notes out. Like you can literally leave whatever you want to add the element of time. 
If I go to my monthly calendar, guess what I just hit? Quick note, 5 o'clock. Okay? So, so technically, even from here, my calendar, what do I have going on today? Boom. It shows me right here, it's not expanded out clear to the 5 o'clock level. So basically what I would do right here is I would have to kind of come in and say, you know what, uh, just push it out a little further. Why don't you push it out to 6? And go ahead and get me into stuff. Oh, there it is, 5 o'clock. Like, depending on your settings, it doesn't have to be just to 3 o'clock. Like, if that's too limited, then what you do is you basically say, okay, instead of showing it just to 3 o'clock, let's go change the settings. So this is on the world building level, how you would virtually do that. You come here and you say, you know what, I'm in, I'm in the play site, so I'm going to go to the classic homepage. I'm going to come here. I need to manage my corporation or world information. And I'm going to come down here to my settings. And I'm going to come down here until I find my elements of time. And I don't remember which number it is, but here's my stuff. And I basically say, you know what, I actually want you to show clear till 8 o'clock. And I might have a couple things that I'm doing earlier. And 15 minute, let's go 30 minute increments. Okay, so these are the settings for that particular page as far as what's happening. Scroll down to the bottom, save my settings. Click. So now if I go here like this and I want to say, my calendar for today. It didn't show me the other one because my, my other settings were just at 3 o'clock. Now if I click on today, it started at 6, by half an hour, all the way up to 8. It automatically knows how to play. Okay? Like, as you add your different pieces of the puzzle, it, like, you have to get the data in. You have to centralize it. And then as far as skinning it and how you want it to look, you can knock it out of the pot as far as however you wanted that to do and go and fill the flavor. You'll notice that a lot of them have different colors and backgrounds and different things like that. So those are all settings we allow you to change. Okay, so we put it in the hands of the user. What is your identity? Do you want a gray background, blue, white, chrome, you know, whatever. Like right? you can kind of let them tweak that. It's it's this easy. Literally, you would go like this. Click. You go back to the same basic settings page. Okay, go to the settings. Click on it. Look and feel instead of corporate settings. Here's what my corporation is all named. Here's my settings. And these are hexadecimal colors. that are basically tied to values, if you will, of hexadecimal colors through. Um, that's kind of getting a little bit technical. But basically, you can modify anything you wanted to. This particular site it currently has kind of almost a, a white background. Say I wanted to add a light blue background. That was kind of grayish green, but like you can virtually change your colors and backgrounds as you need to. I'll just change that back because I don't think that looks very good. <laughs> okay, awesome. But things are able to change and mix and blend and good stuff like that. Cool. Uh, I have been just talking and talking and talking. I would love to hear what you guys have to say for ideas or if you have additional questions. We popped into a couple little live sites. We have been playing and playing and playing. Um, what questions do you guys have or even discussion topics? Like, I don't want it just to be me saying, boom, 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 boom. I, I'd love to, and we just did kind of show you some of the possibilities, but we have had three days of training, close to 15, 16 hours of training, just like, Here's what you can do, and here's where you can take it. And you know what? We probably have covered half that. Okay. So, like, um, what are your questions? Do you have questions? Do you have any sort of things? So, Chris, this is your kind of first time seeing it, and I know you kind of came in. We hit balance sheet and financial flow and all this kind of stuff, and then we popped into almost this world building type scenarios and. You're not even 100% familiar with the product and stuff. What are some of your just observations and or hopes and dreams? Like, I know that I'm, I'm going to say this even though it's on record, but what we're trying to do is we are recruiting help in Atlas. We need more help to get people to help us build this thing out further and further and faster. So we are openly recruiting. So basically, Chris is here because he was responding to an ad that we were running up at USU University, Utah State for an assessment web developer type position. And um, 
what I'd like to do is almost kind of spin it in a little bit of a way and kind of be like, if you're an assistant web developer, do you see potential where you could be needed and used and, and some different pieces like that? Or? Sure. I mean, it's hard. I don't like say I only see a little, little piece of it, but when you kind of are showing some of these sites, especially you know, these live ones, like, it's pretty exciting to think about all the possibilities that are out there and how much this can grow and expand. How, I mean, there's real-world people out there using this right now to keep track of their, their business. And when you see those entries, I mean, that's exciting for them because they're, they're doing their thing, they're making money, they're living their, their life. Like, that's really cool. It's, it's, you know. But it is, it's, it's awesome, it's, it's kind of fun and like, I don't want to paint this picture like, hey, wow, we nailed everything. We poked tons of holes in our own system today, okay? I had Shannon take some notes, oh, well, uh, Shannon, can you note that? I need to go back and check that. Like, that's just a constant process. But one of the cool things is, is that we have all of these people that are virtually in here using this and the way that it works, this is not a product that is wrapped up and on a shelf at Walmart. This is a live experimentation, if you will, and a pioneering towards where can this possibly go. So in some people that might scare them half to death. And that's fine. That's, that's totally fine. But it literally is that type of a mentality type thing, if you will. So you have tons of options. Like I'm just clicking on, there's that little 5 o'clock one that I put in today. I wanted to put in one for tomorrow at 1 o'clock p.m., literally this easy. I know I'm, I'm kind of switching gears, but it's like, click and say this was a special student note. I'm actually going to tie this to one of my students. Whoa, I'm on caps lock. I can't remember their names. Let's pretend that it's Megan. I might have to change that. And let's see if I have Megan. You have a Janet. I, I, I do have a Betty. Okay, and I'll just change that to BET. Boom. There's Betty. Thank you very much. Sign it. Boom. It's done. So now if I'm at home and I wanted to see what's my weekly calendar look like, I now have my 5 o'clock one tonight and my this one tomorrow. And you can start even if you needed to, you can even span times. I, I need something to block from here to here, and et cetera, et cetera. Tons and tons of options. Um, I feel like I've kind of just talked and talked and talked and talked. I'd like to kind of switch it up. Are there any questions from online at all? Janet? No, there are not. <laughs>